here on Kilkenny, big year for St. Pat's Drum Condor, a big step up to the Sigerson. Yeah, I think it's the first time um, St. Pat's Drum Condor have competed in the Sigerson Cup. Um, we've been soldiering in the trench for the last years. We've been very successful every of the last three years. We've reached the final, if not won it. So we're really looking forward to the challenge. Um, we believe we've the talent there to, to be competing at the highest level and we're looking forward to Gaelic Games and Hurling and Pats for the years to come. Soldiering in the trench is a nice way to put it. <laughs> you have been there the last couple of years and you've, you've won a few times. Yeah, exactly. We've, we've, been at the, we've made the weekend for the last three or four years and we're, we feel we're ready uh, for the step up to Sigerson. We've got the players there. We just bet NUIG there in the Division 2 League final, which are also a Sigerson team. So, um, we've lots of fantastic footballers there, the likes of uh, Durban Murth from Roscommon Adrian Varley from Galway. Shane Dempsey, Westmead, Hugh McFadden, Donegal. So we've loads of players there. We're into county experience, and it's great. Uh, gelling all the lads together from different counties with different cultures and different different ideas. So it's great to have them on board, and um, we're really passionate. Um, college as well. Um, Gaelic Games has been there over the last uh, hundred years for the teaching training college, and um, we're hoping now that we can compete now in the circus and um, as Clash Park for years to come now. There must be excitement as well as pride at getting to this stage and I'm sure there must have been tremendous work down the years to get you this far. Yeah, it's, there's been serious work put in by Tom, Tom Fitzpatrick who runs the Gaelic Games in the college and um, um, it's, a, it's a special kind of thing because the players actually um, run the team so um, I was um, given the task as player manager this year so it's a, new, it's a new experience for me and I'm really enjoying it and really enjoying the experience and proud and privileged to be asked by my peers to be, be the manager as well so um, we're put, trying to put in a big effort now and do the best that we can in this competition. Um, it's a big step up, but we're really looking forward to the challenge. Yeah, that's quite a unique thing to be player and manager. I know you, your uh, predecessors have done that, uh, but when you look around the rest of the Sigerson, you've got Martin McHugh involved, you've Johnny Doyle now involved as well, so no pressure. Yeah, it's a real kind of... Um club kind of an ethos it's kind of um, and it's a great experience for us like for lads that are going on to do teaching it's a great experience and it's a u unique kind of thing that players get to look after the teams because most of the time them people go on and look after teams in primary school and in secondary school and it's a great experience and um, it's, it's a real um, thing that the GA are lucky to have and um, um, we're really proud and privileged to be able to do that as well and uh, um, it's difficult from time to time but you really enjoy it and I'm really looking forward to the experience. And after all your experiences with Dublin, how much are you looking forward to actually playing in the big one in the Sigerson Cup? Yeah, it's going to be a special, special feeling now playing against the top teams like the um, Jordan's Towns and the UCCs um, and the UCDs. So I'm really, really looking forward to that now. Um, I'll be a real kind of traditionalist. I always would have loved to play in the Hogan Cup. Unfortunately, never got to play in that. But now I'm going to get the opportunity to play in the Sigerson Cup. And uh, I'm really lucky and just really happy about that now, yeah. And a question as well about hurling. You're in the hurling as well. You're you're a dual player, so you're going to get stuck in there. Yeah, if I get the time now, I'd love to play a bit of hurling. I played there last year. I remember we were playing against UCD out in UCD in the snow, the blistering <laughs> snow, and uh, it's a tough time here to be playing hurling. But um, if if there's a job to be done in cornerback or something like that, uh, I need to take a lad out of the game. I'm willing to do that for the lads in the college because uh, there's a great bond between the hurlers and footballers in the college. And uh, um, if if there's a job to be done, I'll be there for them. Yeah. I'm not sure about taking boys out, but uh, <laughs> talk to me about who you've got on the hurl and what sort of uh, pl what sort of counties are involved and what sort of players. Gee, there's lads from all over the shop. There's um, there's Patrick Curran from Waterford, very good hurl. Owen Price from Westmead was just playing there in the Shinty game there the last side. Um, they're the player managers, a good owler at the Ballaman called Peter Sutton. So uh, I think he could be still celebrating after owler won the Leinster final there after a few, after having. Uh, a few years at it so they were delighted and they had great celebrations and then there's loads of lads from Kilkenny in Dublin as well and literally all the counties under the sun and they, they have great crack all together the hurlers but they're putting serious effort in this year and um, I think they bet DC on the league there so they're going well and they've a good chance in the in the Fitzgibbon so uh, we'll see how they get on and if, if, I, need to, if I need to do a job they, they, I'll, I'll be happy to do it. So just finally would it be worth putting St. Pat's Drum Condra down as, as a dark horse in both the Fitzgibbon and the Sigerson? I wouldn't say I wouldn't say a dark horse, but I'd say um, we we we'd we'd put it up to, we'd like to think on any given day we'd put it up to any team and um, the fact the advantage that we have on other teams is that um, we're kind of nearly like a family and a club team that we're so closely knit, like it's a, it's a small college and we wouldn't have the biggest pick. Um, but the lads give it their all and are really passionate and committed about the college. So I suppose that's an advantage that we have. And the fact that it's player driven as well, and um, there's an advantage that we have. And any given day, we'd hope to do our best against any team and um, 
give a good account of ourselves.